Today we're going to be looking at a question that involves proportional reasoning. There are many different ways that we can solve this problem that we're looking at today, but in this video we're going to be solving this question using diagrams. So the question says that a standard punch requires two cans of orange juice and one bottle of ginger ale. When using four bottles of ginger ale, how many cans of orange juice are needed for the punch? So let's think about how can we solve this problem using diagrams? Well, what do we need to represent? We need to represent orange juice and ginger ale. So let's use counters to show that. So let's use one circle to represent one can of orange juice. And we'll use a green counter to represent one bottle of ginger ale. Well, if we're making this punch, let's draw a bowl, every time we add two cans of orange juice, how many bottles of ginger ale do we add? We add one. This is the part-to-part -part ratio for this punch. Two cans of orange juice and one bottle of ginger ale. So let's think about this for a second. If I were to add another two cans of orange juice, how many bottles of ginger ale should I add? Right, we would add another one because for every two cans of orange juice, there's only one bottle of ginger ale. How many cans of orange juice do I have in my punch right now? One, two, three, four. And how many bottles of ginger ale do I have? One, two. Well, let's represent that with numbers. Two cans of orange juice for every one bottle of ginger ale. And if I have four cans of orange juice, I have two bottles of ginger ale. Because we're following a two to one ratio, we can say that these two ratios are equal. But we haven't answered the question yet. The question said, when using four bottles of ginger ale, how many cans of orange juice do we need? Well, how many bottles of ginger ale should I draw inside my bowl? Four. So how many more do I need to draw? Well, since I already have two, I'm going to draw two more. But what happens for every time I draw one bottle of ginger ale? How many cans of orange juice need to be added? Right, two. So now I have three bottles of ginger ale. Let's draw one more since the question said we need a total of four bottles. Drawing one more bottle of ginger ale means I have to draw how many more cans of orange juice? You got it, two more cans of orange juice. Do we have a total of four bottles of ginger ale inside my punch bowl? One, two, three, four. Four bottles of ginger ale. How many cans of orange juice do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for eight cans of orange juice, I have four bottles of ginger ale. So let's see what this looks like. The relationship was between orange juice and ginger ale. For every two cans of orange juice, we had one bottle of ginger ale. I needed four bottles total. So let's draw four bottles. One is already drawn, two, three, four. But for each bottle of ginger ale, how many cans of orange juice did we need? We needed two. Let's draw another two since I have another bottle and let's draw another two since I had the fourth bottle. So we started with a two to one ratio. If I had two bottles of ginger ale, I had four cans of orange juice. So here we had a four to two ratio. Then if I added another bottle of ginger ale, I had six cans of orange juice, so we have a six to three ratio. And finally, with a total of 
four bottles of ginger ale. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cans of orange juice. Every time we add a bottle of ginger ale, we add two more cans of orange juice. So let's write down all these numbers. Two to one, four to two, six to three, and eight to four. Would you say that all of these ratios are equal? Well, how do you know? Let's write them as fractions and see. 2 over 1, 4 over 2, 6 over 3, and 8 over 4. Well, let's look at the original ratio given. We started with one bottle of ginger ale, and then we doubled that. We multiplied by 2. Would you multiply the numerator by 2? Is 2 times 2 4? Yes. To get to the third bottle of ginger ale, we multiplied the original by 3. If I multiply 2 times 3, do I get 6? Yes. To get to the fourth ratio, 4 bottles of ginger ale, I'm going to multiply by 4. Is 2 times 4 8? Yes, it's also 8. So whatever we do to the denominator, we did to the numerator. We can say that these represent proportional relationships and they're all equal. These are equivalent ratios or equivalent fractions. So let's answer the question. How many cans of orange juice did we need when we used 4 bottles of ginger ale? For every bottle of ginger ale, we had 2 cans of orange juice. And as we just discovered, all together we have eight cans of orange juice when we use four bottles of ginger ale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Therefore, eight cans of orange juice are needed for the punch. Sounds yummy. Now remember, this was just one way of solving this problem using diagrams. But can you think of other ways we could have solved this problem without using diagrams? Check out our proportional reasoning playlist to see the other methods.